Well, the family of a mother and daughter killed in an apartment fire want to remember their loved ones, and at the same time, they want to help others. Coming up on Thursday, there will be a blood drive in memory of Dana and Sarah Keeling. The mother and daughter died after injuries sustained from an apartment fire in Elizabethan last month. News Channel 11's Carissa Winstead spoke with Dana Keeling's mother, who organized that blood drive, and she joins us now with more. Yeah, Josh and Emma Grindstaff told me her daughter was constantly giving back to the community and she wanted to help keep her daughter and granddaughter's memory alive by starting an annual blood drive in their name. It's been just over a month since 20-year-old Dana Keeling and her daughter, 3-year-old Sarah Keeling, lost their lives. Their apartment on Pine Ridge Circle in Elizabethton caught fire. Dana's mother, Emma Grindstaff, says the past few weeks have been painful. It's just been really rough. Um, not having them here for Christmas and, you know, just having them here, period. It's been really, really rough, but I know they're with me and I feel their love every day. She says she wanted to keep Sarah and Dana's memory alive, so she teamed up with the American Red Cross and organized a blood drive in their memory. Dana was a phlebotomist and she believed in giving back. Both Dana and Sarah were organ donors. Grindstaff says Sarah's eyes and heart valve were donated, and someone received Dana's organs as well. To me, I thought, well, she's given back, she's still alive, so I think the most precious gift I could give her and Sarah is, you know, a blood drive to give back to everybody and maybe save another life, and, because they, they both fought hard really hard and I think it's just a perfect gift for them. Grindstaff says she hopes this blood drive is successful so she can continue to hold one every year. Everybody come out even if you can't donate just come out and uh, help us celebrate with Dana and Sarah. Maybe some joyful tears or sad tears but come on out and, and uh, celebrate with us. Carissa Winstead, News Channel 11, In Your Corner. The blood drive will take place on Thursday from 10 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. at Unica High School's cafeteria. To make an appointment, call 1-800-RED-CROSS or visit redcrossblood.org.